Robots from Boston Dynamics will get advanced artificial intelligence. Neural networks will be able to translate the language of all animals. Incredibly fast nanorobots will travel inside the human body. And a robotic surgeon will perform surgery on the International Space Station. See all the details of these headlines and more technology news in today's one episode. Hyundai Motor Group and Boston Dynamics announced the opening of the Artificial Intelligence Institute. The AI Institute will be led by Boston Dynamics founder Mark Reibert himself and has already received a $400 million investment from Hyundai in the first phase. The main task of BDAII, an acronym for Boston Dynamics AI Institute, which I think you can read as AI Institute, is created to the next generation of robots that are much better than anything that exists today. Developers want to make robots smarter, more agile and dexterous, but also easier to use, that is, more human-like. The four main areas of research will include cognitive AI, sports AI, organic equipment design, and ethics and politics. So Boston Dynamics is sort of splitting into two areas. One is focused on practical robots that will bring the company money, its spot and stretch, and the other will do what Mark Reibert always wanted to do, research that doesn't consider practicality and economy. It's based on his own vision and has no timeline. That's exactly what Atlas Robot is. And it's worth adding here that these advanced experimental robots have absolutely commercial potential in the sense that the technology created from them will be of enormous value in the future. At the same time, Researchers from Harvard argue people can sleep well as even the most advanced versions of artificial intelligence will never be able to gain common sense. This is the conclusion reached by psychologists from Harvard University, having tested one of the most advanced neural networks in the world, the DAL E2, which translate text into pictures. Remember that the developers from the neural network of OpenAI claimed that they did not know how Dolly 2 manages to create such realistic images from the description, and that the algorithm invented its own language to discuss their projects. The Harvard researchers decided to test the algorithm's ability to make sense by taking as a measure of intelligence the ability to recognize relationships between objects. A person understands from the first years of life whether an object is next to another, on top of it, whether it's an animate or inanimate, and so on. So taking 15 basic relationships, the researchers gave Dolly 2 phrases to create illustrations. And that's where artificial intelligence got it wrong. One of the large array of images tested by 170 people, only 22% correctly depicted the relationships between objects. This proves that the neural network has no idea what it's doing. However, researchers have high hopes for artificial intelligence. For example, the Earth Species Project hopes to develop a neural network that can decipher animal language. And this is a new trend among developers. For example, there's already an algorithm for analyzing the grunting of a pig. And so far, it only determines whether the animal is quiet or not. And there's a system called Deep Squeak, which detects stress in laboratory mice by ultrasound signals. Another startup, Project CETI, is trying to decipher sperm whale sounds using machine learning. Earth Species Project researchers have decided to bypass everyone and create an algorithm that will be suitable for translating the communications of all animal species, from worms to whales. The development will begin with the representation of words in a multi-dimensional geometric space, where semantic relationships between different words will be established. The alignment of such figures has previously proven to allow translation from one language to another. However, we don't fully know how animals perceive the world. So even if developers can thus understand communication of social animals, such as primates or dolphins, it's not clear whether the system will cope with translation of communication of non-social species, as well as, for example, honeybees, which transmit information in a peculiar dance. Xiaomi continues to amaze. Just the other day, it shocked everyone by introducing a humanoid robot, which we described in detail in the video at the link here in the hint. Now the company has presented a gadget to control a smart home with the power of thought. The prototype MeGu Xiaomi headband, brainwave processing device, is attached to the user's head and works in tandem with a smartphone, connecting it via Bluetooth. When the user wears the headband, an array of three sensors begins to monitor their brain activity, broadcasting the data to their smartphone. The latter decodes and interprets the signals, transmitting commands to home ecosystem devices. So with the power of your mind, you can start cleaning with a robot vacuum cleaner, ordering coffee with a smart coffee maker, and turning on the air conditioner. 
While it's still in prototype phases, the future of Xiaomi promises not only to improve the design, but also to expand functionality, for example, to help drivers. Soon, dozens of nanorobots will travel inside our bodies. At least scientists around the world continue to create more and more variants of miniature robots that can not only target drugs, but also perform surgery inside of us. For example, researchers from the Johannes Kepler University in Austria have developed the world's fastest intestinal robots. Comparing their speed with size, the scientists used as a unit of measure the number of body length passed in one second. For Formula One cars, this figure is 50, but for the created miniature robots, it's 70. The robot is made of flexible substrate with a flat coil of a liquid alloy gallium, indium, and tin printed on it. The melting point of this metal is negative 19 degrees Celsius, i.e. it's always liquid at room temperature. By placing the robot in a constant magnetic field and applying an alternating current to the coil, the flexible base can be made to bend under the action of the Lorentz force. By adjusting the frequency of the current, you can control the speed of the robot. By adding legs to the robot, researchers made it move very quickly so it could run, jump over obstacles, and even swim. The ranks of the US Space Force will be enlarged by Robodogs. Puppy Patrol will patrol the base at Cape Canaveral. The Ghost Robotics Company creates robots for the US military, and their main qualities are high durability, all-weather capability, maneuverability, and relative cheapness. The bots weighing 50 kilograms are equipped with an audio and video sensors as well as software that allows them to move fully autonomously, under the control of the operator or responding to voice commands. Remember that such vehicles already patrol one of the U.S. Air Force bases as well as the border of Mexico. A surgical robot will be tested on the International Space Station, which will operate on astronauts in space. Virtual Incision's miniature Mira robotic surgery platform will travel to the station in 2024, where it will be first tested inside a microwave-sized experiment locker. There, the robot will cut simulated fabric and manipulate small objects. The miniature platform weighs less than a kilogram and can be mounted on a rack by any surgical table. At the same time, Mira can be cleaned and sterilized in between manipulations without any special equipment. The goal of the creators of the robot is to make complex operations available anywhere on the planet and even in space. Mira is in the final stage of clinical trials and it's not yet commercially available. Experiments on the ISS are funded by NASA because they could be useful for long-term space missions in the future. And Japanese startup Git AI released a video showing engineers having fun with a robotic arm for space stations. The 10-meter long robot will perform tasks in outer space. Git AI is also creating an autonomous arm for partially inhabited space stations and a robot for building and exploring other planets. The first launch of NASA's Artemis lunar mission will take place as early as August 29th. The Space Launch System rocket will launch from the Eastern Range in Florida with the Orion spacecraft, which will orbit the Moon, where it will spend several weeks before returning to Earth and landing in the Atlantic. The first mission will be unmanned and will take 42 days. Together with the crew, the flight will not take place until 2024 and landing on the Earth's satellite in 2025. The purpose of the Artemis mission is to return Americans to the Moon, facilitate preparations for the construction of a near-lunar station, and create the basis for colonization of other planets. The Super Heavy rocket successfully passed its first static firing test. This brings SpaceX one step closer to its first orbital flight. True, during the firing test, engineers activated only one of the 33 engines, Raptor 2, installed on the launch vehicle. Remember that all the details about Starship we've told you about in the past, and you can find that right here at the link. Meanwhile, Tesla is going to build a fifth Gigafactory in Canada. The design of the enterprise is publicly available, and the company plans to get help from the authorities to implement it, promising in return to create in the country's production not inferior to the most powerful factories in the United States. It's expected that the project will be located in Quebec or Ontario, and its capacity will be from 500,000 to 1 million cars a year. The head of the Chinese company Baidu said that the autopilot of its Jaidu robot car will be a generation ahead of Tesla's autopilot. Now the company has a concept of a fully autonomous electric robot car with artificial intelligence called Robo-1. It has two LiDARs, 5mm range radars, 12 ultrasonic radars, and the same number of cameras. The total number of sensors for environmental perception is 31. 
The company plans to produce 800,000 robot cars by 2028, but as early as this fall, a limited edition Robo One will be released, in which it will match the concept by 90%. Mass production is planned to start in 2023. A team at the University of Washington created a system that can calculate the optimal design of end equipment and calculate the best trajectory for grabbing objects of any shape. The end piece for the manipulator is immediately printed on a 3D printer. The team tested this system on a set of 22 objects, including a plastic rabbit, a doorstop-shaped wedge, a tennis ball, and a drill. A drone was created to search for gold and jewels from shipwrecks beneath the thickness of the seafloor. Sea Searcher is being developed by Seafarer Exploration, a Florida-based startup. Its advantage is that it can detect and distinguish the types of metals buried up to 10 meters below the seafloor, creating and transmitting a three-dimensional digital map of their location. The exact means by which Sea Searcher accomplishes this is a closely graded trade secret. However, the developers reported that the drone can descend to a depth of 100 meters and then fly about 1 meter above the seabed, emitting electromagnetic radio frequencies and acoustic waves of different modulation formats. Using real-time machine learning-based algorithms, it analyzes how these waves charge any buried medical objects, and as a result, the vehicle can reportedly determine the depth at which these objects are located, as well as the type of metal they are made of. Engineers at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology Zurich have trained a drone with 12 rotary screws to manipulate objects, such as opening doors and turning valves. The design allows the drone to hover in any position necessary to perform the task at hand, and the software calculates the trajectory correcting for external interference. The drone tracks objects themselves with tenths of a millimeter accuracy, obtaining data from spherical infrared cameras located on the drone itself, the objects, and the perimeter of the room. In theory, in the future, the drone will be able to handle any object it needs to be pulled or pushed. Subscribe to the Pro Robot channel, like this video, and don't miss any new episodes from the world of high tech.